got to go in. Oh. I got cut off, so okay, maybe I'll leave this on as another snippet. And it might get uploaded first, and you wonder what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? But I'm talking about um, things that put crimes together that could be seen as just, you know, schizophrenic things that aren't really logical. Um, the thing is, though, right, okay, so I was just showing you the book The Crucible, and, you know, there's Abigail Williams... Uh, in this book and she's obviously she's a girl that died at Delphi um, she was brutally murdered along with Libby German and you know witchcraft and you know puppets of course and people think of puppets as the dolls used to hex and used to um, curse and things like that and it, the idea is it doesn't have to be dolls again that are important um, to carry a theme, it doesn't have to be a doll. It can be simple, a simple thing like it's poppets. So you've got a hunter sitting there playing with his poppets, right? That's how you know. That's enough. That's an expression of something. So for someone wanting something expressed, it doesn't have to be hunter sitting there. And there's a doll and it's remarked how it looks like someone or anything like that right the idea is that poppets and witchcraft okay have the name poppets and people have them and they are activating them and then you've got hunter sitting there activating the poppets during mcdonough's interview on the porch and you've got i'm smiling but i'm really you know Anyway, and you've got, you know, Summer said to have liked the poppets and, you know, and these are the themes, okay, right? The themes of the pilot wheel, you know, um, and you, yeah, I know <laughs> they can be crazy, but it's just an idea. It's just a way of thinking about maybe just true crime or, you know, the human race and its future or its collective consciousness and what's being expressed so therefore what is gathering like a black cloud and so what is there to be drawn upon and expressed through the conduits of people and their desires their modus operandi what they want, who they are, what's happened to them, what forces have created them, and then what forces they put out. So, you know, there's a lot of themes running through here and that connect some very heinous crimes. And there's a lot of people connected to all of these crimes, particular people. And even things, okay, okay, I'll give you another example. So you've got little Jean Benet Ramsey dead in her Lone Star t shirt. It's a white t shirt and it's got the silver five pointed star on it. And she wanted to wear that t shirt to the whites because she wanted to wear her new The Gap outfit, which was black velvet trousers and her white t shirt. And it was a cute little outfit. So Mommy Patsy didn't get away in having her little poppet, you know, her little mini-me daughter, her proxy, wearing the red jumper. So Jean Benet got her way, but at some point she probably was wearing that red jumper, right? Someone got their way, and then she's back in. And we know that through various forensic evidence, you can go and listen to my videos on it. I've got a whole playlist. And... She's wearing her white t-shirt with the Lone Silver Star on it, right? So you've got Lone Star Road where Candace, Candy, and Little Summer Moon Utah Wells are driving along. Last image of Summer. Last image of John Bonet. You've got um, roadways. You've got Fort Henry Road, right? Fort Henry is this big road in Kingsport. And... You know, Henry's part of the, um, is that the Civil War and, you know, 
What do you know? What do you think is on the road that... In Salem, that the Daybells had their homestead on, where Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow's murdered bodies were discovered. Oh, just up the road, I literally, I could tell you the meters. Is it? It's, but I won't because I'll get it wrong off the top of my head. Uh, there's the Fort Henry Memorial because there's the Fort Henry Fort, fork, and that there's because there's this little channel of waterway and stuff like that, and it's, you know, things like that, you know. It, maybe it's just a hobby, right? But but these are the things, they, they capture my attention for some reason. This random little thing on the side of the road near Chad Daybell's uh, House of Horror. And um, I know it when I see it again. It's like Lone Star Road. When you're looking on a map, looking down... And you see the Lone Star Road leading to the T347. And you know instantly what it reminds you of, right? And trust me, there's uh, commonalities existing now between then, there, and now in these cases. And it's, it's crazy, I know. It can sound very crazy. And, and that's okay. It's just something to think about it's a way of maybe thinking about crime but it's forces okay it is who's to say it's not expression of something whether it's you know by design by who right um and you know the more see what's happened is the people of say don's generation you know they're the ones really growing up in these damaged destroyed blasted homes and you know and just since his childhood it's just gotten worse and worse where we've got women that'll have five children to four fathers and you know so you're ending up with children that aren't even with maybe even a blood relative most of the time being raised wolves would do a better job and don't get me started on the wolves. So, yeah, and, you know, Letitia Stalk and, and Don Wells are exactly the same, aren't they? Listen to how they're talking. Letitia was all about, you mark my words, you just wait and see. You'll see how amazing I am, how above reproach, how dare you. You're going to learn, you'll learn, you know. And Don Wells is exactly the same. And... Letitia was allowed to get out of her state and down to Florida, Florida, yes, Florida, uh, with little Gannon Stalk. And there is another similarity too, because we've got the photo of Gannon Stalk. This is, nothing has distressed me more nearly in all my time following these few cases that I follow for my own reasons. For, well, basically the reasons I'm outlining to you now, right? It's exactly why they catch my attention. Otherwise they, they wouldn't, you know because there's plenty of suffering and things to watch. And she discarded him in Florida, you know, and now how is Summer Wells? Has, has Summer Wells left the state, you know? Who knows? And with whom, you know? And Rose Meyer is saying, you know, Don, aren't you concerned you know your wife uh she was trying to get this go fund me money she wants to leave you and now probably this is true but now the jig's up isn't it um but there's so much pain and sickness but there's a lot of people around calling it now but where were they before and there's also a lot of people around that um could be called on to do things for various reasons right so I just I just I just pray and I never say this because I I feel like a fraud if I do I do my version of it because I'm not a good person or a good Christian or anything right um, I, I avoid this like the plague and it's only because I don't I, it could just be some 
let's just say it's a sense of goodness. I don't know, but <laughs> no, it's it's probably, a, you know, this Catholic shame and something. Um, Catholicism, when you grow up in Catholicism, you're really growing up with the supernatural and in, with certain other factors. I mean, I think Catholicism and how I grew up um, really played into a lot of my mental illness. Um, and that's a journey that started very early on and it, it really messes with your head in certain circumstances to certain type of people because any any who any who I don't like to pray but I just said that automatically and I'm saying yeah I really I pray that someone these smart little criminals right these filthy scum they are and and they could be hurting they could be grieving they could love their sons they could love their daughter and their granddaughter and still have guilty knowledge at least right that they have to have in the least and the keeping mum okay so Let's pray that they have made a mistake. They're likely to have because they're not geniuses, but they are the type of people that get away with things because they're just so murky and tricky. And uh, you know what I mean, I hope. Um, so I hope this isn't going to be the case, but certain things have heralded to me that this will be a cold case and not a solved case, right? Uh, but I hope I'm wrong and I, I'm always I'm very happy to be wrong and if I ever need to make a um, heartfelt sincere apology to anyone or anything uh, I will so you know let's um, let's yeah let's just pray for the right outcome uh, which is that some is found. She can be placed somewhere where people that love her, um, and I'm talking alive or dead, if she's found alive or dead, you know, she needs to be found and she needs to be somewhere safe. Okay, because she hasn't been her whole life. She has not been safe. And, we, yeah, wherever that is, I don't know where that would be for her. Just the thought of it. Yeah, when she's found, where would she? Where would she go? Um, somewhere sunny, I hope, a warm hillside. So, yeah, I don't think Don can cope quite with this sort of uh, cope with this sort of confession, right? So I'm glad the boys are away because this could be a Josh Powell, you know, um, scenario. Yeah. Tell me if you want to hear some of my, um, you know, my ridiculous um, linkages. Some of them will make you laugh, maybe. Um, and some of them will scare you, but I think you need to start thinking of themes, right? You know, crossing the bridge, the bridge to warrior's path, warriors, warrior up, you know, community bridges, things like that. I don't know, things like that, you know, the Monon High Bridge, right? Um, when you think of hunting, hunter, all of these things, right? I know there could be there's got to be some words used some names some places right but no when you look at it as a whole um and what keeps popping up <laughs> maybe it's just a curiosity to me and, and everything but i think when you're when you're schizophrenic there, there's there's uh, things that aren't joining up, but you think they are, you can realise later. Um, and when you're not, <laughs> all it is, it's just, well, you're just putting too much weight on things and it's just a natural human thing or it's some people might be um, urged to do so, but it's not logical or useful uh, because it's it, it's 
making everything very messy and um, foggy. You're not looking clearly at what you really need to focus on, right? So I understand all of that. I do. But um, you see things a lot more clearly. Uh, yeah, so time frame 3.30, that's very interesting. Who went what where and when? Because it could be any three of these adults. They're all capable of the before, during or after. I, I believe that and I think I can say that because we're showing that. Anyway, this is way too long. I've got to get going. Um, maybe you didn't listen, so... Aha! <laughs> Great! Uh, it's probably a good thing because I'm not really uh, being coherent. I will speak to you later. Bye.